Good morning, folks. As we watch the incoming plasma filament rip away from the northeastern limb, know that we've got a calming Earth-facing space weather situation, and with it, the tropics back at Earth. We're going to look at some incredible flooding in the United States, a strange object past Neptune, and Blot's energy transmigration law with surge tectonics. However, we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. The last day on our star showed a number of surface movements. The filament eruption you saw at the start actually was preceded by one ripping away on the Earth-facing disk, but it pushed left and north so it will miss Earth. And speaking of missing Earth, we got a postcard from Solar Flaring on vacation in Zegama Beach with Rico and the Brain Bug. Ten points if you get that reference, by the way. Anyway, the Earth-facing quiet can puff his chest because the sunspots are here despite the lack of flaring. Magnetically simple and needing major movement if they want to kick off a major X-ray event. Solar wind was in a good bit of flux for a portion yesterday but has calmed a touch and right now Earth's magnetic field is getting a breather as well. We're relatively calm at Earth. That southern coronal hole was from the Southwest Pacific Quake Watch at the end of last week. The next one upcoming in the north is still another day or so away, so the most interesting rumble of the last 24 hours back at Earth was up in Santa's workshop. Well folks, this pretty much sums up the situation in Louisiana. Quite unfortunate as the deluge tracks on and may continue for days more. It wasn't that much better to the north where the convergence line from another low has dropped everything from tornadoes to flash floods. That's Wisconsin. How about a mystery object past Neptune? This small, frigid world is highly inclined compared to the planets and it is orbiting the sun in the wrong direction. They say it may have been a collision that knocked it off course. I say maybe that's evidence it was captured. Either way, it's one of hundreds of TNOs out there. Also, folks, the topic of Blot's energy transmigration with earthquakes needs a quick mention. The use of energetic events to track volcanic and earthquake activity from deep depths up to shallower ones, and often across known tectonically unstable zones, is now 40 years old this year, and to this day, almost everyone who uses it is able to discern the relationship and even predict a few quakes. Our very own Hook Echo, one of the top observers, does this on a regular basis. Anyway, surge tectonics was even made into a book in 1996 after more than 20 papers in 20 years built on and expanded the concepts that we see people all across the internet using today. For those who wonder why we use the sun instead of this system to predict quakes, it is because the sun gets all the big ones, while surge tectonics or energy transmigration has never been used to predict even an M6. Retrospective analyses can be performed for bigger ones, sure, as was done for a 2005 rumble in the Middle East, which also had a powerful coronal hole system facing Earth at the time, or as Hook Echo did with our Twitter prediction of location, timing, and magnitude in Chile last November. But indeed, those that need a look back in time, they can see the full connection still. It all comes back to Blot. His work is still being cited to this day in the journal New Concepts in Global Tectonics and used around the world on the internet by forecasters. Anyway, folks, I promised a magnetic reversal update, and you got it. Episode 63 of Deeper Look. And yes, folks, since this is the top topic, that episode is not content protected. You can all head over and click Premium, then Deeper Look. And again, we're looking for Episode 63 of 2016. That one will be free for you. Membership is only $4 a month, however, or $30 for a whole year if you want to save 40%. We greatly appreciate your support, folks. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.